and welcome in everybody glad you're with us mlb the show has action out of the al central it's the crimson tide taking on the tigers first pitch coming your way next just about set to go Showing the slab in today's game. Jackson Joe. Chris, he's looking for a bounce back this season. Yeah, and I think this guy understands that if he doesn't make quicker adjustments and show improvement, that the patience that his manager has will not last as long as it did last Moving year. So Alabama. we'll see if he can get off to a great start. Base. Perhaps the work that he did in the offseason will show good results early on. But he's got to get out of the gates going strong, or else he may find himself in the bullpen or back in the minor leagues. In the air, left field. Badu under this one. And there's one down. Okay, let's check out the lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. Well, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup. I think as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of this season, they could be playing October baseball. Adelberto Mundesi up to the plate. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Well, the hitter looked pretty comfortable on that swing. Pitchers don't like to see that. We'll see how he changes it up on this next pitch. Right side, hard hit. Gets it to first. Oh. Quick start here this evening. Two out, top of the first. So digging in, the Willie Mays. Field, He's got the power, Willie. but great contact Willie. skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And first offering is fouled off. You can talk metrics and all that stuff, but no matter what, I think Willie Mays is the greatest defensive center fielder the game's ever seen. You won. Swung on, belted. That one carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. On to the bottom of the first. No score. Bottom of the first. And towing the slab in this one, Babe Ruth. What do we have on him? Comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three. He's been pretty great for most of his big league career. Can't wait to watch him in this one. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. And just to touch on Mays' defensive ability, there isn't a ball he couldn't get to or a throw he couldn't make. He was an artist out there in the outfield. Can't get there. Base hit. And it kicks off the base of the wall. They're waving Chipper home. Not in time. He makes it safely for an inside-the-park home run. And here is Taylor Wall. That's rooftop. Chop to third. On to first. One gone bottom half of the first. That is third. And here's the veteran outfielder, Mickey Mantle. Mantle. One down, base is empty. That one drilled left field. Way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. It just got out of here. Home run number five on the season. It's 2 nothing. Next to hit, right Hank Aaron. And first offering is fouled off. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Shohei Otani. He's into the game, but the base is empty. Pitch misses, and it's a ball and a strike. And a swing and a miss. One of the amazing things about Hank Aaron is the consistency he had over the course of his career. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. And that's going to get into the corner. 
safely into second. He's got a double. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. To the plate, save! It's 3 zip. Man at first with one gone, Pudge Rodriguez will hit next. In there in its own one. Rodriguez. Going two now. Got him. That's out number two. Batting seven. Now the left fielder, Akil Badu. In there for strike one. Torkelson off of first with two away. In the air, left field, down the line, and it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Badu into second, and he's got a double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Stays alive. Two outs, two in scoring position. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 0-2. This to third, base hit, one run is in. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. To inning number two, the Tigers out front here, four to nothing. Here's Cam Gallagher. He swings and misses at the first pitch, 0-1. Well, early in this ball game, down by four runs, you've got to try to get a run back and just look at taking at least one in inning. Before you know it, you'll be tied up. And there's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. All over that one right there. He recognized the rotation of the baseball the out of the hand, stayed tall on the backside, and crushed that pitch the other way. So, man aboard, Ben Intendi to the plate. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. And it's into the gap. Throw comes in, runner stopped, second and third, nobody out. And for him, that's two solid weeks with the hit in every game. I mean, he's running his hitting streak to 14, and let me tell you, that's no easy task. This guy's grinding out at bats. He's fit. Ah, uh, ground ball, and that's through the infield. One run is in. The tag, and he's out. Run comes in from second, and now just a two-run deficit. Now at the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Check swing, but he went too far, and it's 0-1. Still only one out here in the inning. 0-2 as he waves at that one. He gave up a couple of runs in the first. His offense picked him up. It's time for him to settle in now and throw up some zeros on that scoreboard. Out there to center. Mantle under it. Makes the catch. And yeah, there's two away. Here is Aaron Judge. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness of the strike zone to boot. That's critical, very important. If you want to be one of the best to ever play, it can't be all about hitting home runs. You have to have plate discipline as well. Next offering misses, and a count two and one. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Next pitch misses, and now three and one. Judge rips that one. Mantle on the move as he glides back. Brings it in, and that will end the inning. 
down to the bottom of the second. The Tigers with the lead, four to two. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. This is Willie Castro. Second baseman. Otani back to work. Ground ball right side. Fires over to Guerrero. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Now that is the third baseman. Skipper. Go. So the batting order turns over. And now Chipper Jones. Now this is in the air down the line. Judge is under it. Hauls it in for the out. The batter number eight. Now it's the shortstop, Taylor Walls. That one lifted to left. Benintendi is there. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. And welcome back. Here's some real power at the plate. Ernie Banks. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, I'm not sure one player has ever been the ultimate face of the franchise like Ernie Banks was for those Cubs teams back in the 50s and 60s. Base hit, center field. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. The Got a fastball, the middle of the plate, Second jumped base. all over it. Absolutely Nicky. smoked that ball. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Ernie was Mr. Cobb, boo. Do you remember? Let's play two. I mean, that's what he said all the time, and he's still beloved in Chicago. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. Line drive, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back-to-back -back base hits. Now That's that. about as textbook the as it gets. Got his stride Battle below, Berto. out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. One down. Now that Willie it's Mays it. digs in now. Oh. Ripped on a line. That's a hit. Oh, caught up in a rundown now. Cut off, throw to second. And he's, he's got no chance. He's out. Cam Gallagher getting ready to hit. Cam Gallagher. Out to short. Walls gloves it. They take the force out. And that is that. Set for the bottom of the third, and now Mickey Mantle in for a strike. Strike one. The center fielder, Mickey. And the righty deals. Mantle. I got one ball, one strike. Ground ball up the middle. That's a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knot. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack no of results he's Number been having four. lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Just kept it simple, played yeah, pepper right. with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And a count one and two. Stays alive. One, two now. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. This one's got a chance. And out of here. Hitters today are looking to pull the ball and get it in the air. Even on a breaking ball away, does a nice job of staying square to the plate, allowing his arms to get extended and get good wood to it. On the ground to the left. And he grabs it foul. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. And 
And a swing and a miss. One away. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. That's ripped. Base hit. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And that one is lifted in the air. Benintendi is there. And makes the grab. Two down. Vinny Castillo now at the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. Got it. Really had to move for that catch. And that's the third out. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. Back here at the ballpark, out of the fourth. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Andrew Benintendi. Andrew Benintendi. Joe, back to work. Out to center. Mantle settles underneath it. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's one away. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. This Bobby guy with big time Rich power Jr. and an elite defender. They say it went. That one blasted deep to right. Way back there. Gone. His 14th of the year, and they cut into the lead. It's 6-3. Two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the now way, and it paid off for him in a big way. Vladimir He's got Guerrero. it, and there's two away. The batter. The two right outs, bases is empty. Aaron. Now it's Aaron Judge, Judge up to the plate. Out towards right center field. Hank settles underneath it. He's got it. And that is that. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. And they've doubled up now. It's 6-3. Dylan Trainer gets handed the rock out of the pen. And this is his season debut. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Now a screamer into the outfield. Judge pulls it down, and there's one down. The back, the third baseman. Chipper Jones, the next to hit, one for two. Chipper swings and connects deep to left field, and it's off the wall. And into second with one away. That's a double. Drove that ball nicely. Put a great swing on it. And it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there. And he's rewarded the with the double. And the batter down. Taylor, Taylor Walls. Whoa. Next pitch has popped up. Reaching for it. And brings it in. The center fielder. And now the center seven. fielder. Mickey Mantle. Mickey. And first Mantle. offering is fouled off. Jones on its second with two down. Nope. Next offering is downstairs. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that is gone. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. 
And he's got it in right field for the third out, so that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. Ready now for the fifth inning. Leading off, Ernie Banks. Leading off for Alabama. And a pinch. The designated hitter. In Ernie, Ernie Banks, you've got a player who Banks. truly loves the game. Let's play two was his signature line, and he meant it. Lined, and that's a base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And here it comes. And he grounds one back up the middle and it finds its way through for a hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Another multi-hit game for him. He's now been that, really hot lately. Up. Really nice job Apple staying Bear up Joe. the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. This one lifted in the air, left field. Badu makes the play, and there's one away. The center fielder, number 24. Two on Willie. with one out. Here's a speed threat, Willie Mays. On the ground left side, six, four, three. It's a double play, and that'll do it for the inning. Back here in Detroit, and here's the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. And here's the catcher, Pudge Rodriguez. That's out to center field. Mays makes his way towards it, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Man at first, and stepping in is the speedy Akil Badu. And that chance handled by Willie Mays. And there's two down. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Castilla in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Torkelson off of first with two away. And one, one and two. 0 oh, 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Kicks and deals. And it's fouled away. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. On to Lopez. And that is the inning. Five innings complete. The Tigers with the advantage on the scoreboard, eight to three. Welcome back. Now, Pam Gallagher. Leading off for the Crimson. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams Man. capable of rallying Gallagher. from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. One. Swing and a miss. 0 and 1. And a pitch. Hammer. Base hit. The batter. So a man aboard, Ben Intendi up here. He's a guy who does it all. Well struck right field. And it's gone. He flexes his power with that swing, and they inch closer. It's 8 5. And that's his fifth straight game leaving the yard. And Boog, if he goes a game or two without hitting a home run, he's going to feel like he's going to get sit down to the minor leagues. And out number one on the grab. Now Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Good contact guy, good defender. Check swing, but he went too far. And that is strike one. Right-hander kicks, deals. In the air, out towards left center. He makes the grab, two down. Number 
now batting. It's Aaron Judge now. Aaron. And what a two-way player, not just offensively, but as good a defensive outfielder as there is in the game. Line drive, base hit. Now batting. And now the, the DH, Ernie Banks. Ernie Banks. In the air, left side. Badu racing over to make the catch. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now 8-5. Bottom of the six. Here's the second baseman, Willie Castro. Leading off for the Tigers. Trying to bunt his the way second on. Baseman, Willie and that's just foul. Castro. And a pitch. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. And a foul ball, he stays alive. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And it's gone! Changeup up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most times, the pitcher's asking for a new baseball, just like right there. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. All right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. And he deals. Rips that one to right. Drops into the glove. One down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those blue hits to get a knock sometimes. New arm out of the bullpen, Madison Bumgarner. This is his fifth appearance of the year. That one's in there on one. Late swing fouled off. The pitch. Stays alive. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Now two away. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch like right over the heart of the plate, and I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. Deal two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Here comes a pinch. Hard hit to third. Wit over to first, and that'll do it. Well, that right there was all pre-pitch positioning. Put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Hal Newhauser. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. The second baseman, Nicky Lopez. Now at the plate as he swings through strike one. The next pitch misses. One and one. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you wanted to play. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Bounce to the left side. Fires across the diamond. One up, one down. And now the big time power threat at Alberto Mondesi for the fourth time tonight. And first offering is fouled off.
That one ripped left field. Way back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. His 16th homer of the year, and they close the gap. It's 9 6. Here's a big power threat. Willie Mays. Number 24. Willie. They say you win. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Just a weak fly ball this time. Tracks it down for the out. That's out number two. Now it's the power speed combo. Cam Gallagher. Cam Gallagher. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Not sure what's going on right there. No chance. Probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. The pitch. Tosses to first. Third out. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 9-6. Back at Comerica Park, bottom of the seventh, and now the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. The first baseman. Mad Bum, back to work. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. That pretty much split now the bad. zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Fall off foul. Runner at first with no outs here. And he's down 0-2 oh, oh, as he swings break. through it. The pitch. Stays alive. And the 0-2. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Oh. That'll fire the dugout and they add on it's 11 6 now back. digging in a kill badu that one ripped right center Badoo. field that's down one hops off the wall and he's got himself a triple his second knock of the night Vinny Castilla digs in now that one the other way puts it away for the out Castilla. So up next, Willie Castro. The batter, Left 13. field, way back there. And that one is out of here. Man, he just barely got that one out of here. And you've got to love the effort and left to try now and bring batting. it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Yeah. Throws to first, and they get the out on Jones. Now the number two hitter, Taylor, Taylor Walls. New pitcher coming on, the veteran, Scott Barlow. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. The 0-1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, Willie Mays makes the play. And that is the third out of the inning. And welcome back. We go to the eighth. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Benintendi. Flying drive, and that's a base hit out into center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it. Just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. This one high in the air to left center. Makes the grab. One away. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. First baseman. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That one ripped left field. That ball's carrying. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. 
Vladimir Guerrero Jr. goes deep, his 17th of the year. And they add a couple more. It's 13-8. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Now it's Jordan Romano out of the bullpen, and he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. Righty to the plate. Lifted in the air, right center field. Mantle on the move. Two down. Now bad. Ernie Banks getting ready to hit. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. Hit hard on the ground is short. And that is Got that. It. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. Last half of the eighth coming up. Back here at the ballpark, stepping in the long ball threat, Mickey Mantle. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. He made him pay for that one, his seventh home run of the season. And they boost their lead. It's 14-8. Singy, he's done it. 755 career home runs. He's tied all time with Hank Aaron. Just unbelievable, Boog. He ties a true legend, and that's how he'll be remembered as well. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Garrett Crochet. He has a great slider with tons of movement. That one down the line, and foul ball. Here's a one-two. To third. Tosses across the first. One gone to the bottom of the eight. A well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. And here's the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. Out towards left center. Benintendi is there. Two away. Now batting, catcher. And now the catcher comes up to him, Fudge Rodriguez. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Pulls in with a double. Third hit for him today. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here. But you'll take that swing and that result every time. The bat. And now no Akil Badu. And first offering is fouled Badu. off. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Two outs. And one in scoring position. In the air to left center. He's got it. And that is out number three. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. Ninth inning coming. Welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's some real power at the plate. Nicky Lopez. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Left-hand batter waits. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit-by-pitch to lead off the inning. Oh, Boog, I know how much you love free stuff, and this offense has to love a free base runner to start this inning, even if it hurts a little bit. We'll see if they can do anything with it. And first offering is fouled off. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. That one ripped. Way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. A two-run homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they're chipping away. It's 14-10. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. 
Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Joe Nathan on a pitch out of the pen here. And he'll work on holding this lead. Next offering way off the plate. Hey, partner, how's your scorecard looking right now? A little dicey, kind of hieroglyphics style at the moment. You know what it's like, Singy? Remember our trip to London, Yankees and Red Sox in 2019? I think there were, were there 50 runs scored in the two games combined. My scorecard was ugly for that series. Here's a speed threat, Cam Gallagher. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, pretty ridiculous. And you use like five different colors of pens. So like, it's just a mosaic over there. Yeah, I mean, I, I know you're always judging the different pens. Like, you know, I got the skinny scoring pen and then I have the red and then the black and then I got a highlighter. So there is a lot going on. Righty delivers. On the ground to short. Walls throws to first. And they're down to their last out. Andrew Benintendi steps up. And first offering is fouled off. Benintendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. Next pitch misses inside. And that is ball one. Good eye right there. And a 2-1 on the way. Just missed. Right-handed reliever. And that one wrapped foul. Is just one strike away. High fly ball, right field. Hank settles under this one. And that is the ball game. Well, today these guys put up video game numbers. Unbelievable, insanely impressive performance, especially in terms of the home runs they hit. Not something you see very often. And our final, 14-10. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.